What's going on YouTube? My name is Mim Fan Boy. Yesterday I went to the flea market, our local ones, and get got all the, these eight phones. So let's get started. So I paid fifty thousand dinner down each for six of them, and in these two area I paid a hundred thousand Vietnam down for them. So let's just start with the phone that are non-functional or untested. First of all, this is a Samsung SGH D six hundred. This is unbrand it and when I plug it in the phone seems to be getting hot and uh, I don't but the battery isn't actually really charging and I don't know why but there's no sign of light of this one whatsoever other than the phone being hot when I plug it in oh by the way I've also if I didn't mention before uh, I recently purchased a official Samsung charger this is very useful to test a lot of these Samsung phone because some of them wouldn't register on this universal charger that I have laying around. So when I plug it in, plug this D um five hundred at D six hundred in um I don't see anything so thing. So my guess is probably due to the flex cable issue or something, but it does not turn on. Unfortunately, I might have to investigate it later on to see if the phone will function or not. LCD is good though. Here is a Curitel. This is actually a Pantech Curitel phone on KTF, and this is a Korean import. This is a Pantech Curitel. Um, PD five thousand. This is a Korean import, which is like a bit a bit interesting to collect. And uh, this one has a a standard antenna. I do not have the uh, charger of this one. It's one of the weird ones. I actually use the same charger as most of my LG, but I don't have that. I don't see the one of the, any of them for sale. And when I try to charge the battery with um, this thing, um, it will charge, but uh, I guess, but I didn't let it charge for long, so it doesn't turn on right now. But my guess is this is going to be working because it's, the inside is in the Mac condition. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, now for the um, second part, now for the working device, I'm going to show some of them one by one. So let's start with the kind of the most boring one. This is a Nokia 1600. This is some branded. I actually have been wanting to get one of these for quite a while. Wow, and I finally found one in the flea market. This one has this, both the speaker of this one is broken, which is why why I didn't really like it. The IMEM number match, so it is kind of worth some money, I guess. But I've been wanting to get a 1600 for a really long time, and I've only found found pieces of the phone. And I got a I once had a 2310 that I gave to my friend Tata King. Um, but, but I finally got a 1600 now, and yeah, I'm very happy to have this one, but uh, I might need to get a speaker fix of this one at some point. So yeah, I want to take the battery out for to test this one. There's another phone. This is a Hisense. Hisense, what's this? Um, CS six six eight. This is with um EVN Telecom. I don't have a battery for this one, but from what I can tell, you can just put the battery like this on well, BL5C like that, slide it in, and it will turn on. I'm not sure what's what's this one's trying to claw on. I think it's one of the 6131, I guess. No, no. Uh, I think I do have the phone that I have that. Yeah, I'm not sure why, but. It doesn't really register, the, yeah. The, I don't have the recyc model, but it's kind of resemble one of these. So, yeah, it's kind of resemble one of these. This is a sixty-two thirty-three that I got last year. I still need to get a new um, flex cable for this one. This one has show with a white screen only. So, yeah, I might have to. Um, Re reinstall the EVN card because the reader on this one is a bit infin finicky for me. Okay. 
this is so this one is actually a, a, a very um, common EVN phone I actually see a couple of commercials with this for quite a long time and yeah there's not that much spe thing special on this one other than it's just a very basic um, EVN phone the reason I got this one uh, there's two on the free market the reason I got this one is because they, this one has a sticker of being working but have no battery in Vietnamese so this sticker can be very useful when you collect cell phone from the, from online and flea market as well. There's not that much thing other than this being a very rare, very interesting EVN phone. Now the next one is I'm not sure how I can tell this one. This is an APT B900. This is a feature phone that uh, uses touch screen to navigate. And the weird thing about this one is that this one is actually a clone on iPhone and you will get you will never get the power where's the problem is it's right here. It claims you have 3G, so I might guess this is one of the earlier models, or even older than my um M99 3G, I guess. The battery life of this one is horrible to the point that I can't really um, can't really charge for long. It's, it isn't like my uh, other APT smartphone that the battery life is much much improved. Touchscreen this one works just fine. There's no stylus whatsoever, but it works fine. It's actually a you see the come see the um, interface is similar. I mean they are trying to because oh. So, so, okay, so that was a photo of the children, so I had to censor that. But yeah, it's just a very boring phone, and there's not that much special about this one other than this being a. Weird. This is weird. Very weird APT phone. I'm not sure how this got into because I actually saw a few of the like bootleg like, on the same store and. Yeah, not that interesting, but I haven't reset this one. This one has locked. This one had a passcode I can't really bypass. Okay. So the next three phones are going to be very interesting device. Uh, so let's start with the um, where is this Samsung flip phone? I actually got this one very on the first try. It's, it's the missing edition, but it is surprisingly working even though the battery is horrible. It is a Samsung SGH E640. Yeah, just look at the condition and you might guess that how this one got abused up quite a lot, but here's out of the display. It's actually an older display which is pretty cool I guess. Time again it's not right. Um the keyboard isn't really that responsive, but once you get used to it it will be very cool to use it. Again, this one has a lot of confidential information similar to that APT. I can't really reset it because the network the code is um not uh, the common one. I couldn't really pass that, but yeah. Hey, at least I got at least I got one of these very cool phone. I couldn't see any video of this one online, but so it would be nice to um, do a video on this one. So yeah. That out of the screen is pretty cool too. Um, so I've been recently a uh, very interested in connecting um. Japanese phone or K Tai as you call. So I got these two um, for two K Tai phone from the flea market. So let's start with this one. This is a, um, a sharp K Tai. It's very cool. It's on NTT Docomo. This is a um, sharp SH906i. This is a 2008 phone. And you can do use it for like this. 
as a normal pin form and you can scoop kind of turn the screen around and make it uh, this very um innovative for the phone and i got this for a hundred thousand i was only going to pay like 150 but sellers said think that i'm a very familiar face so he turned it down to 100 so pretty cool um now the reason why there isn't a battery in this, in this one is because wow i couldn't really charge the battery who handled the battery like this i um, mean i mean that's horrible you can see very horrible and I can't recharge this one I mean I just for my safety I'm probably going to recycle this at some point so what I test what I'm going to do is going to be a bit of a weird one so I got this BL5 um, B battery that can shove it in and then the phone will turn on so there we go Insert UIM card. Doesn't matter anyway. Say so, so we are in Hanoi. Okay. Pretty cool phone. Uh, actually, um, it's not out of screen, but the interface is actually pretty cool. Oh, there it is. There are these lights right here. I'm not sure what, what they are supposed to do. So from what I can tell, this one has a touch screen that works. Um, very really interesting. So, everything about this one is actually very, um, it's actually my first chat phone, so I'm very excited to see how this one works. This one was used in Vietnam, which is why, um, which is why it was set to English by default. I mean, I mean, for some reason, some of the, these uh, Japanese these uh, devices have been imported in Vietnam and being used. So, which is weird. I saw one of the lock bank where you have no keyboard, no battery, and, and my guess is, and uh, that, that thing was actually kind of unlocked. It came with a Viettel card, so my guess is that that thing is unlocked. This one doesn't have any card inside, so, yeah, not that mm, spectacular, but I might do some video of this one and all of one in later in the future. And I paid twice as less expensive as this one for this one. This is a very cool little K tie. It is a, a Panasonic. This is a Panasonic. It is a Panasonic um, PM10. This is also with NTT Docomo. And it's actually a very cool slider, a cool flip on it. You can flip like this. So you reveal that is a normal flip phone. Uh, also, you can also um, pull on this side and it become a kind of like a keyboard phone. There's like a hinge right here. Pretty awesome and neat idea for a flip phone like this. And the battery I got this one is working. I charge it and it actually uses the same battery as my other Docomo phone. The um, PO2. So, yeah. Vera K Type by Panasonic. Yeah, the actual waterproof and former close back cover and connector terminal cover tightly. It's a very weird message for a phone like this. But hey, it's a very cool phone. And just to look at it. The outer, outer screen is actually really cool too. Yeah, very cool. Also, had a cool um, outer display, and you can flip like this, and it become a keyboard phone, like so. Everything about this one is actually very cool because I actually been looking for Japanese K Tai uh, phone uh, being pretty interesting. I mean, this one is actually from Japan. I mean. It's like it's look like the owner of this one lost the phone, lost this phone went on the journey to Vietnam. So yeah, it's similar to this case as my um, intensity has um, fortune visitor just lost their phone their phone on in Vietnam and it just ended up in the flea market. But 
And so this one was in Japanese, but I changed it to English for obvious reason. But hey, I got this very cool um flip phone. Really um nice. Um, I actually love the NTT um like um, Docomo phone better than the um the AU one because AU or uh, SoftBank because um they actually don't really require a card card to power on some on so. Pretty cool, and I do have a um, OMA card somewhere around here that, that I can put in EODs, and they will work fine. There's nothing wrong with any of them. So for now, this will be um, it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and see you guys in the next one.